Parents play a vital role in their child's education no matter what type of school they are attending. If your child or student is transitioning to a virtual learning environment, you will soon be playing a significant and exciting new role in his or her education. It's August, which means we parents are busy planning and preparing for the start of a new school year. Wow! Days spent playing games and having family time will soon be traded for busy academic routines packed with after-school activities and homeworks. Hello everyone, beautiful people, welcome to my channel. My name is George Lynn. I am a cognitive behavioral therapist, a professional teacher, also a mother of three kids. In this video, I am sharing 10 preparation tips ideas for back to school with virtual learning please watch subscribe to my channel like and share this video for all parents and educators as parents teachers actively preparing for and learning about our new role as we commence virtual learning makes a big difference Parents play a vital role in their child's education, no matter what type of school they are attending, as well as teachers. But in virtual learning setting, there are some specific tips and strategies that are important to students' success. This is what I'm sharing with you in this video. We teachers are always willing to give ears to our students and parents. However, with this pandemic and corona scare, it is really going to be challenging working with students online out of reach. It's really stressful to want to plan and provide information for our students one-on-one, -on -one. but for safety purposes, we have to embrace the distance learning method. It sounds lovely and doable, so let's do it together. You're going to be a coach, a supervisor, you're going to be assistant, director, a teacher, all in one in this process. It can be a great option for many, but I understand others may require the support of a professional, so feel free to ask for support and assistance. With our fingers crossed and a growth mindset, we will accept the change and deliberately be prepared for the adventures it will bring our way. It sounds lovely and doable. Either way, we will do our best, we have to do our job and follow our passion. I love to teach and I'm willing to be flexible as a teacher and that's what I should be. I know that my students need me and I'm looking forward to starting this adventure with them. Now here are my 10 tips, ideas for preparation. And number one, plan execution. Who is going to help you? What do you have in mind for an effective productive study habit? How do you plan to make this happen for your child. What worked last year in terms of homework and studying may not be a perfect fit this year. So you need to be open to new ideas, new assistance, new tips. Be willing to make adjustments as necessary. Ask for help from family members, from um, uh, friends. You have to make a plan. What is going to work for you? How do you pursue this? Number two, Number two, food. Establish a meal plan for your child. Plan lunches and uh, breakfast and ahead of time. Have a food table. It's important that your, that your child has a healthy and tasty lunch. Um, you know, they won't feel hungry or be distracted. So you need to work on meal, a healthy meal plan for your family, for your, your child, for your home. Number three, set up space in a comfortable area. 
where there is no distractions at all. Children are easily distracted by objects, toys or gadgets that are not related to what they need for their lessons. So set up a space that is uh, comfortable enough and easily accessible for your child. Keep away every harmful, every distracting toys, objects away from this location. Number four, check your internet provider, Wi-Fi and routers. Make sure you connect and reconnect all cables to be sure they are all functioning. The gadgets, run the applications again, update if need be, and be ready for school. Next, you need to get familiar with what? Some learning applications. Do your research, especially with the teaching and learning applications. We have a lot of them. If you want me to send you some, Drop a message in the comment section below and I will reply. And number six, get your school supplies ready and handy. Make sure to uh, decorate, organize and arrange your binders, notebooks, pens, pencils, your, your school backpack. Get it ready. Number seven, make sure to ask teachers information. Get the contact information of your child's teacher, all the teachers, so you can be updated, so uh, you can as well get suggestions, advice, and feedback. Number eight, stay in touch for feedback. When you get the contact information of your child's teacher, try to keep note, keep note and always read inquiries and replies, responses, diaries, suggestions for assignments or any other updates from the teachers. So all suggested the ideas so far are for the parents, the educators, the teachers, caregivers. However, this you should involve your child in it. Number nine, get all study materials organized. Okay, your your notebooks, test books, reading books, science, math, Arabic, any book that you are going to use for your classes make sure to keep them organized if possible use colors to separate them try as much to separate all materials for each subject separate from each other so they are easy to locate okay use colored binders use um, uh, different diy organizers try and make out something for easy identification Yes, being and staying organized will help you stay on track. And number 10, be positive. Stay positive. No matter the challenges, no matter the difficulties, stay positive. Well, Positivity doesn't only mean happiness, okay? Happiness is just a type of positivity. There are many ways to be positive in life, even when you're experiencing difficulties. We have powerful capabilities to choose positive emotions and ways of thinking. Our emotions literally change our bodies on a cellular level. Stay positive, remain positive, choose to laugh, be happy, choose joy. 
And now my bonus point, you need to cultivate optimism, okay? Optimism helps you improve your self-esteem, your overall sense of well-being and your relationships with others. Optimism is a way of interpreting the word positively. Next, get some exercise, okay? Exercises that include meditation or yoga, all right? They help you to feel more positive and increase your overall health. When you exercise, your body releases powerful endorphins. The body's natural feel-good chemicals, you know? Exercise can help fight feelings of anxiety, difficulty, and depression. Studies have also shown that regular moderate exercise increases your feelings of what calmness and well-being try to what plan for a good time to exercise and the end i hope this video was helpful to you if so please subscribe to my channel share and like this video till i come your way next time Bye.